Commissioners and the brilliant team at Biggin and Scott Knox. My name is Michael McKenney. It is my absolute pleasure, it is my privilege to be assisting you here today with your obvious real estate endeavours. Now spread throughout the crowd and many of my friendly Biggin and Scott colleagues who are all here on hand, on deck, ready to assist you with anything that you may need. So throughout today's proceedings, should you require any assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to them as they will be more than glad to lend a hand. Now for those of you who are determined to be a new owner, I wish you courage with your endeavours. Just be with confidence knowing that I'm simply here to assist you and guide you in achieving those real estate ambitions. Before we commence the bidding, there are a few things I do need to touch on, more namely the terms and conditions with which we sell and of course the rules of today's auction. Now this auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers for a property after it has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders, bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding, and it does provide fines for this conduct. Now, the rules do permit vendor bids. The words I'll use during this auction to indicate that making a bid on behalf of the vendor are simply vendor bid, and by law, only I, as your auctioneer, can make a vendor bid. Now, the highest bidder here today will be the successful purchaser, subject to our vendor's reserve price. If you're a lucky buyer here today, your obligations will be simply twofold. Number one, you'll be required to autograph the contract of sale, acknowledging the terms, conditions, and of course, the price of today's auction. Number two, you'll be required to pay a deposit equivalent to a slender 10% of the final sale value, with a balance due at settlement being 90 to 120 days time from today's date. Basically meaning you can uh, purchase here today and move in, settle in uh, before the Christmas and New Year period. Now made available for your perusal is this auction documentation which states the land we are selling here today is more formally described on certificate of title volume 9916 folio 225 being lot 24 on plan subdivision 217908B otherwise known to you and I as 10 Eliza Close here in Bayswater but it is currently known uh, to a very very select and fortunate few as home. Now the chattels included in today's sale are all fixed floor coverings window furnishings and electrical light fittings of a permanent nature as you have just inspected them. Now seeing as this documentation has been made available not only here today but throughout the marketing campaign, I am taking it to be fully read and fully understood. Well folks, it really is an impressive offering uh, that stands, I guess, in front of you and behind me here today. Uh, this particular pocket of Bayswater is one of, if not the most highly sought after pockets, uh, pockets and it's understandable why that is. The home itself externally provides a very, very striking and powerful street presence. Um, inside, we have four spacious bedrooms to ensure all of your protagonists are catered for. Uh, there's a large family room uh, living area off the entry hall there. Um, there's a very, very well-appointed kitchen spilling out to that outdoor entertaining area. And of course, making your way down the side of the block, there's that, uh, that really expansive rumpus room, perfect for those unruly teens, additional bedrooms, storage space, whatever your heart desires. To the buyer here today, you are purchasing a home that ticks the absolute holy grail of boxes when it comes to purchasing real estate. Is of course the one that we all know being location, location, location. Now, here we are zoned in the highly sought after postcode of 3153, of course being Bayswater. Now at your fingertips, we have a kaleidoscope of cafes, restaurants, hotspots. We have numerous public transport options. If driving something that you can't do or that you would rather not do, we have the easiest of access to the major road arterials, of course, East Link, the Eastern Freeway, um, we have Westfield Knox just around the corner for all that uh, shopping and retail therapy needs. Uh, and of course we have a schooling belt that undoubtedly stacks the deck in your child's favour for their future. Home like this one uh, I think is truly special. I think it can only be described as a piece of real estate magic. Can I make just one suggestion to you? Don't let this one vanish before your eyes here today. All I think that we are lacking uh, is your input. So it is on that note I submit it to you Number 10, Eliza Close, here in Boomtown, Bayswater, in your hands now, calling for opening bids, opening offers. Where shall we begin? Name your figure. Where do we say go? Quite happy to start at any reasonable figure that you like. Instinctive bidding at these sort of price levels. At 
So I searched for a Miata twenty thousand dollars, could I say seven seventy at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars once, twice, third time now at seven hundred and fifty thousand. Well, they certainly understand. I certainly appreciate. It can be quite daunting making that first bid at an auction. But once you make that first bid, you will feel a lot more relaxed. You'll feel a lot more at ease from that moment on. So we're at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Calling to say twenty thousand dollars on the advance. Could I say seven hundred and seventy thousand? As I said, it should be a sea of arms at that sort of price point. Given the four bedrooms, two bathrooms, seven hundred and twenty-six square meters of land, that alone should command those sort of price levels. So we're at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. As I search for a mere twenty thousand dollars on the rise. At seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, first call. Twice now at seven hundred and fifty thousand. Third and final opportunity at seven hundred and fifty thousand. Well, just to provide that better guide on value, I will put a vendor bid against you, sir, at seven hundred and seventy thousand. I'd like to invite you back in for say seven hundred and ninety. But it's a vendor bid here with me at seven hundred and seventy thousand dollars. At 790, welcome back in at 790 thousand dollars now. Bidist in front is first to the door as we proceed towards home ownership at 790 thousand dollars now. Not anyone else holding back. This is your time. This is your chance to secure a magnificent home in a very, very, very highly sought after location. At 790 thousand dollars now. First call. Twice. Third time now at 790 thousand. So it looks like it's me and you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna place a bid against you now at 810. Would have loved to invite you back in for say 830, call it $20,000 on the advance. At 810, did we say 830? Yeah, 830. Means business at $830,000 now, bid is in front. $830,000 and we'd love to think you call it 850, $20,000 rise from here. At $830,000 now. First chance at $830,000. Twice, third and final opportunity at 830,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the auction for one moment, I'm just gonna go inside, update our vendors of where things are at, where proceedings are at. Um, I do advise if you wanna re-strategize whilst, uh, whilst you take this tiny break, um, do so because once we come out, this is an opportunity that you do not wanna miss. So pause, I'm just gonna pause it for one moment, be back briefly. Appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you can uh, appreciate. Also, it's a very, very um, over, can be overwhelming. Um, this is a very, very, uh, in, very, very big decision for our owners here. So we're at eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars now. What I'm going to do is place a, a one final vendor bid against you, eight hundred and fifty thousand. Um, so, uh, as I said, if you come back with me for eight, say eight, eight seventy, I will not bid against you. This is the last vendor bid that I'm going to use. Eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. As I call for a rise of twenty thousand dollars on the advance. 
If it was me at 850,000, do we say 870? It won't bid against you. Will not bid against you. At 850,000 dollars, as I searched for a 20,000 dollars on the advance, so don't let inhibitions hold you back. This is a fantastic opportunity, and given the nature of our rising market, it's going to be worth it every dollar down the track. At 850,000 dollars now, do we search for a rise of 20,000 dollars on the advance? Anywhere in the crowd at eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. First chance, twice called at eight hundred and fifty thousand. Third and final opportunity at eight hundred and fifty thousand. Are we short? Definitely out. Definitely out. I'll take a ten if it gets you back in. A ten, eight sixty. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? At eight hundred and fifty thousand. I'll take a ten if it invites anyone in at eight hundred. And 50,000. Five thousand. I'll take a 10. It's 860. 860. I hate to undersell your future home. <laughs> At 850,000, do we say 10? 860. At 850,000. I'll take you five. I'll take you five. 855. Welcome in. At 855. Where do we say 860? I'll take you five as well. Same opportunity for the boat to yield 855 now, live bid, at 855 thousand dollars. As we search for a rise in time of say fives, tens, twenties, uh, show strength at 855 thousand dollars. We have two players in it. Uh, anyone holding back? This is your time. This is your chance at 855 thousand dollars now. First call, twice, third, and. Final opportunity at 855,000. Well, bear with me briefly, I'm just gonna update them again and I'll be back with you in one moment. Again, appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Just confirm me to be there at 855,000. Yep. Uh, just a timely reminder with auctions in Victoria. If I should I pass the property into the highest bidder, they reserve the first and exclusive rights to negotiate with our owners post auction. Um, if I do, say, a vendor bid, uh, uh, for example, I pass the property into a vendor bid, no one reserves the first and exclusive rights to negotiate. So, what does that mean? It's always the best position to be in to be the highest bidder. So, at 855,000, I was going to call it down three more times if there is no further advance. Are we passing the property in to this gentleman here? And he reserves that first and exclusive rights to negotiate. Now, 94% of the time that happens, that person is who's the pass into ends up purchasing the home. For $855,000 now, as I call for a $10,000 rise, take it at $855,000. At $855,000, at $5,000, at $860,000, welcome back in. Sir, do we say eight seventy on your behalf? Show strength at $860,000 now. First chance at 860,000. Two, I'll take a five. I won't take a two, I'll take a five. 860,000. It's worth it. It's worth it. At 860,000. First call at 860,000. You have to push beyond your strategic boundaries to secure us all. You've got to fight it out for good real estate. At $860,000, bid is in front at 800. And 60,000 as I search for a $5,000 advance statement 865. Uh, anyone, anyone else holding back? This is your time. This is your chance to secure a very, 
very good opportunity here in the heart of Bayswater at $860,000 now. So do we say eight sixty-five? Two. I'll work with you at eight hundred and sixty-two. Do we say eight sixty-five? Yes. Welcome back in eight sixty-five. Twos appear inadequate. I suggest a five. We're at eight hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars now. If you've got to think about it, you know the answer. It's yes. At eight hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. First opportunity at eight hundred and sixty-five thousand. Twice. Third and final opportunity at 865,000. Are we done? Silent. Finished at 865,000. Is there your instructions? Do we say 870? Two. At 867? Show strength at 870. 870? So three more thousand. You get your satellite back at 867,000. Just think, no more agents hustling you. At 870,000, welcome back in, at $870,000. Another two, at 872,000 here. Are we sure? Are we definitely out? At 872,000. First call, twice. Third and final opportunity, at 872,000. Don't get angry, I'll be back in one moment. It's got an update. Oh, sorry. Again, appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Just confirming the bid at 872,000. Brilliant news, we are now officially unreserved. We are now playing for keeps at $872,000. If there is no better bid, I sell the property here at $872,000. We'll take a grand if it makes it easier, and that's, uh, take a piano, a grand if it gets you back in. $872,000. Just think you'll get your weekend back, we're officially unreserved. The property is selling at $872,000. Do we say $873,000? I might be a $3,000 bid, take me to $875,000. $872,000 now. We'll search for a two, three, 
How about one? One thousand dollars, the worst case scenario, you buy the home. At eight hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars now. First call. Second, are we sure? One thousand dollar bids. Definitely out. Thank you for your bidding. At eight hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars. We sell away no better bid at eight hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars. First call. Second. Third and final opportunity at eight hundred and seventy-two thousand. We sell away. Going, going, gone. Congratulations. Congratulations to our purchasers. Uh, Schmidt Racing Store underbidded. Uh, thank you for thank you for your attendance to another successful Big and Scott auction. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, go.